Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the over commitment. Friend, uh, this is a very common uh, pitfall or issue in the Scrum framework whenever we are working as a team for to deliver a project in a Scrum framework. So let's start friend. Uh, first of all, we have to understand that what is actually the over commitment. Friend, over commitment means that for example, uh, you are working for a project and uh, you know that in one month for example four weeks we have that we can complete for example 10 tasks okay and uh, you just take it over ambitious or you can say the you can take it as a challenge that you will say that we will complete 25 tasks in the in the one month you know that team is capable only to deliver 10 tasks and you have committed uh, that you will complete 25 tasks due to that reason may uh, there may be so many issues occur in the delivery in the confidence of the team and it will increase the level of frustration turnover and uh, unsatisfaction within the team so basically this is the concept of over commitment one thing is the commitment that means you are delivering 10 tasks you know that you can do it you have a capability and you have a capacity technical team is available uh, technical resources are available so you can complete 10 tasks okay in a one month now uh, after uh, but you uh, team uh, or people have over committed and they will say that they will try to improve try to achieve more than their capacity and their uh, capability so that is called as over commitment first thing is the unrealistic sprint planning we know friend whenever we are starting a project in the scrum framework we have to uh, we have to conduct the sprint planning meeting a sprint planning meeting is basically a meeting in which the scrum master product owner uh, scrum development team they are sitting together and they decide the what are the things which will be which will be a part of the release for that sprint actually team may take on more work they can realistically complete within the defined time frame and the team may find it challenging to meet the committed goals leading to incomplete work quality issues or increased stress or pressure on the team member okay friend uh, Honestly, it's true. Um, I have seen, I have my, my own self gone through, gone through these sorts of things in which due to such over commitments, uh, lack of a stre uh, high stress is there, high pressure is there on the team member, not only team member, on the other stakeholders as well. And at the end of the thing, at the, at the end of the time, we have to face uh, lack of delivery, lack of confidence and uh, the uh, high rate of frustration as well so uh, friend it is uh, we have must have to understand that the over commitment starts from the sprint planning actually sprint planning when we are taking the uh, task we are taking the features from the product backlog that what are the features we will uh, complete in the sprint planning so over commitment start from the sprint planning actually then uh, increased technical depth means that uh, due to uh, ambitious commitment uh, the team might take shortcuts or neglect certain best practices uh, for uh, the technical things and uh, the impact is that over time increased technical depth can result in a reduction in a code quality making future uh, development more challenging and time consuming as well for example uh, you know that for example we must have to make the classes we have to use the uh, object oriented programming for example best practices for the coding we must have to use or uh, other technical solutions must have to be followed but just because of the over commitment or lack of time uh, we uh, we adopt the shortcuts and which results in the lack of quality in terms of code in terms of future development as well then team burnout means that the due to consistent over commitment and pushing team members beyond their capacity can lead to burnout burnout means that teams become frustrated completely and burnout negatively affects team morale productivity and overall well-being 
overall well being that obviously uh, every person has their own uh, personal life family life and the office life as well so there is they become uh, lots of disbalance between the uh, personal life and the uh, and the official and the office life as well it may result in increased absenteeism high turnover rates and a decrease in the team's ability to perform effectively that means people start uh, thinking to uh, switch the job just because the environment is very heated environment is not good just because the team uh, is not performing well by because due to just because of over commitment then the compromised product quality that means in an attempt to meet an unrealistic commitment the team might sacrifice product quality by skipping testing neglecting code reviews or rushing through development tasks compromised quality can lead to the delivery of defective or incomplete features eroding trust with the stakeholders and end users as well like customer is also uh, amazed that the basic sets of te- testing is not performed basic sets of things are not completed so how things are moving to us toward us if they are not testing so why they are providing us the incomplete product or half cooked things why they are providing us then reduce predictability means that the over commitment can make it challenging to accurately predict when certain features or increments uh, will be delivered stakeholders may face uncertainty regarding project timelines and deliverables making it difficult to plan and coordinate activities dependent on the timely delivery of specific features as well here uh, friend uh, remember one thing that if we are not basically like for example we are making over commitment due to which we are not achieving the deadlines and timelines so obviously it will impact the overall morale of the team here as well decreased team satisfaction means the team overall become totally frustrated and demotivated when consistently faced with unattainable commitments here as well decrease in job satisfaction can result in increased turnover people start switching job difficulty at attracting new talent and a negative impact on the team dynamics undermine trust with the stakeholders means that the uh, due to over commitment and not meeting the deadlines uh, stakeholders trust will also shake and trust is critical component of a successful collaboration over commitment and not meeting expectations can strain relationships with the stakeholders impacting the overall success of the project so uh, friend uh, to avoid the pitfalls associated with over commitment it is essential for scrum teams to prioritize realistic and sustainable sprint commitments during sprint planning this involves accurately assessing the team's capacity considering potential obstacles or impediments and making commitments based on his historical velocity open open communication between the team and the stakeholders regular retrospectives and a focus on continuous improvement can help mitigate the risk associated with overcommitment and contribute to the long term success of the scrum team